What are you upset about? Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Holiday Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, or as it was known in theaters, plain old Halloween 5. It's a year after the uh, events of the first movie. Michael Myers is still believed to be dead, but of course Dr. Loomis does not fully believe that. Jamie has been put in some sort of a uh, children's hospital for the time being, since uh, she, of course, tried to stab and kill her adopted mother. But Jamie is also mute now. Dr. Loomis is trying to get her to speak, but all Jamie can do is have these sort of uh, psychic visions of Michael going around, being in certain places and killing people, including Rachel, from who was... Uh, one of the two, one of the three main heroes, I should say, from the last one. Uh, she winds up getting killed off. And there's also another character in the movie named Tina, who pretty much takes over watching over Jamie when Rachel gets killed off. And mostly all Tina wants to do is have a good time with her boyfriend, Michael. Yes, there's two Michaels in this movie. And one of them's more evil than the other one, and the other one is just an annoying jerk. But he gets his from Michael. Never mind. Anyway, Jamie continues to have these psychic visions of Michael about to strike. And when Michael finally takes out Tina, Jamie decides that it's time to team up with Dr. Loomis, the local police, to try and take out Michael. But, of course, Jamie has another vision of Michael being somewhere ready to strike. But it turns out it was all... Well, sort of a sort of a mishap thing, and Michael shows up at his old house, which actually, if you look at it, it looks nothing like his real old house from the first movie. Michael takes out the cop that is trying to look over Jamie, and Dr. Loomis and Michael, well, they have a little bit of a fight, but Michael takes out Dr. Loomis, and then Jamie runs through the house trying to keep away from Michael and try not to be killed. At one point, Jamie winds up in this coffin and sees everybody that Michael... No. Do you mind? Uh, sees everybody that Michael killed up in his little attic. And for a second there, she connects with, connects with Michael but doesn't work out very well. Uh, Jamie runs away, meets up with Dr. Loomis, seems like Dr. Loomis kind of lost his mind to play catch little girl with, between, between Jamie and Michael, but it turns out it was all just a ploy to shoot Michael a couple of times with some tranquilizer darts and beat him down with a 2 by 4 um, So then Michael's taken to the local police station, but through the movie you see this mysterious man in black who appears several times in the movie. The man in black shows up at the police station, kills everybody there, blows Michael's cell door wide open, and Jamie goes in to see what happens and discovers that Michael is long gone. So, why did this movie suck? Again, it was not an another one of the great sequels of the Halloween series. Uh, again, more pretty ridiculous kills. Uh... Including a kill in this movie that uh, I thought was a little bit ridiculous. I think it was in my top ten worst Halloween kills. I can't remember which one it was, but definitely one from this one got to uh, part five. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, I didn't like it because uh, there was a dog in the movie named Max. He got killed off, but you didn't see it. But I'm not going to give out his fate of where you, where you wind up seeing what happened to him. Uh, Rachel getting killed off. I was kind of half and half on that. Rachel was pretty good in the first one, but in the second one, it seemed like she just didn't give a crap. Tina, the, the Tina character was extremely annoying. I just, I just, I didn't know what to do with her. I was like, should I, should I be sad that she got killed off, or should I be kind of happy? Because she was pretty annoying. And, uh, yeah, this, this, this whole movie... And that tagline right there, Michael lives and this time they're ready, honestly, no they weren't. <laughs> One of those is right, and I'm going to give you a hint, the bottom half was wrong. So, yeah, but again, Donald Pleasance, Jamie, and uh, Daniel Harris, play, who played Jamie Lloyd, were good in the movie, but this movie couldn't be saved by their really good performances, so I'm sorry about that, folks. But there you guys have it, a review... No. 
Well, I'm sorry, but the review's coming to an end. A review of Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. If you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that could have taken place on any holiday of the year, I had a mass killer and some pretty lame kills and other stuff that just made you want to not eat candy for a while, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on. I wonder if anybody might do a heavy metal version of that. Maybe speed metal.